The place where I'm standing now is known as Egg Hunt 2019 Scrambled in Time, which was predicted to be Roblox's last egg hunt as of the event removal last year. When the announcement for events to be removed in placement of a new program called Live Ops, many people were devastated but also asking themselves the question, what will happen to the egg hunt, one of the most prominent yearly events on Roblox? Some even predicted that the yearly events would be removed entirely, which made some lose hope. However, last year, Roblox released two items called Excalibur the Incredible and the Ornate Excellent Crown, and left us wondering, was hope found again? Was there going to be a 2020 egg hunt, or was 2019 the last? Well, new hope has been found within the new decade, with Roblox developer relations officially announcing on their Twitter that yes, the egg hunt 2020 was confirmed, with a post calling developers to volunteer their games. This is incredible news, but what does this mean exactly? In today's video, I'll be explaining the information that went out, what we know about the 2020 egg hunt from leaks, tweets, and more. I'll also be explaining my predictions on what will happen, what games, etc., and what I believe what will happen in this dev hunt in other terms. Let's get started. My name's Tanuki Alex, and this is our Roblox news series. Yo, what's up, hashtag nerd squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we start this video, make sure to check out my brand new community tab if you'd like certain updates on certain things. You can also subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. For the latest Roblox news, drama, tips, tricks, and even more. On my community tab, you can find updates about how video progress is coming and also be updating about past events I covered. For example, the COPPA situation. Anyways, enough stalling, let's get started in the video. So what I'll be doing in today's video is I'll be covering the leaks and what we got from Roblox as official updates. I'll be connecting these two and using my information to figure out a conclusion. I'll also be updating about the Roblox Twitter community's opinion on this as well as including excerpts from my friends and their opinion on it. Let's get started in the video. Last December, Roblox uploaded two items, Excalibur the Incredible and the Ornit Crown. I'll discuss my opinion on them in the next slide, but the descriptions read, You know what they say, a battle against eggs is never over easy. Some people predicted that this was the Faberge egg, it was kinda like it, in the sense that you would get it after beating all the stages. With the Ornit Excellent Crown, it reads, This fabulous crown is passed down through the royal family generation to generation, and that's no yoke. Until yesterday, when Roblox at around 1.03pm on their developer relations account posted this post stating this, Calling all developers, volunteer games for the 2020 egg hunt. You can find your details in this announcement devform.roblox.com slash tye slash games needed. Hashtag Roblox, hashtag Roblox dev. They then retweeted the post a day later. Since then, we have also received a dev forum post. Let's read it. Developers, continuing one of our biggest Roblox tradition, we're looking for developers to volunteer their games to participate in the 2020 egg hunt. Not much is expected on your end as a developer. If your game is selected, we'll give you an egg assigned to your game specifically. You decide how the egg will be obtained within reason. You have to let us know how you plan to make the egg obtainable. You can also submit an egg design along the game you're volunteering. You must be signing up to have your game participate in order to submit an egg design. If you're interested in having your game participate, please sign up here. Survey. Deadline to apply, January 20th, 2020. This survey leads in which you'll have to enter your birthday, your name, and what game you plan to choose. You can only choose one game according to the leaks. Next, you have to plan how to make the egg obtainable in the next step, and then it will submit it to Roblox. According to the survey, you must be 13 or over to participate, and you must have a game. That's it. It's possible that there's more to come, but that's all we've seen so far. On to our next point. Let's read some of the Roblox Twitter community's reactions. Thank you, we needed this. I didn't participate in last year's, I'll doubt I'll participate in this one this year. 
been playing Roblox since 2009 and honestly the one thing Roblox, not developers, did that I really loved were the egg hunts. I reminisce the old days of the old egg hunts, by far my favorite one was 2012's. Last year's wasn't that bad, it could have been better though. You're really doing another dev hunt? The 2018 egg hunt was the funnest time I've had in my life. The soundtrack was outstanding. I honestly wish I could play this game again, but you're killing it with stuff like this over and over again. Most of the RTC believes in one collective opinion. They are grateful that there is another egg hunt, but they do not want it to be like last year's where there was a dev hunt. The dev hunt resulted in a lot of non-original ideas, and also some of the eggs were long to get. Essentially, what a dev hunt is, is where there is one portal which leads to multiple games. Most people just want one game where it's multiple challenges in the game, and where it's produced by one studio. It's very confusing to try and find these eggs in multiple stages, especially having to go to multiple games and where sometimes it does not work on desktop, mobile, or Xbox, or one certain platform that a player may not have. Another thing people do not like about dev hunts is the lack of a storyline. Whereas 2018's Great Yoke Tales had a sort of storyline in the library, etc., 2019's had a very poor storyline, essentially outlining the different games as different portals to different worlds. Some of the games took absolutely no effort to make sure the egg was integrated into the game, essentially just saying, win around and you'll win this egg. This storyline was very poor and did not resonate well with the players. Another thing Roblox needed to improve on was the difficulty of getting the hats. The hats were very difficult to get in some rounds, sometimes taking up to 5 minutes to an hour. The time needed to be consistent to most of the community, and in around a multiple posts you can see this. Most in the RTC community are grateful that there's just one at all, and so there's a lot of excited replies in the comments as well, which that's a good thing. Engagement is the number one key to an event. Based off the RTC's replies, everyone is happy that there's an egg hunt this year, however they wish tweaks would be made to it, such as the storyline and more. On to our next point. Based off on these leaks so far, I believe that it is going to be a royal theme. As of the many royal references, I believe it's mainly going to be a patriarchy against evil knights, or something like that. This year, I also predict that there will be more egg-oriented architecture in the lobby. There will also be a cutscene in the lobby, I predict, as many were asking for more of a storyline. I believe Roblox will take some of this critique and use it to help improve their platform of the egg hunt. I also believe that this year, eggs will orient in shapes and sizes. There may also be levitating eggs or different shaped eggs that are not shaped traditionally in the shape of an egg, but rather a circle. This year, using the critique, I also believe that Roblox will try and step up their game with their developers. Many complain about the timing of the eggs and how some took 5 minutes, whereas others took an hour. Roblox will try and set a consistent time with these games, and I think this consistent time for getting an egg will be about 25 minutes. This will help encourage engagement on the platform, and it is also not too long, but it's also not too short. Roblox will implement something similar to Super Mario 64, where you jump through paintings or royal doorways. I do not believe that they are going to do the thing where on the wall last year you could climb up the wall and click on an egg in order to travel to it. I believe they are going to implement something creative. The leakers haven't found the lobby yet, but again, I believe it will be something similar to Super Mario 64 as of a castle. After all, the theme is royal, so they have to implement that in some way or form. My final prediction is that Roblox will use something sort of the ornate crown on top of an egg as of the Faberge egg. Therefore, I predict that Roblox will heavily implement a royal theme. On to our last point. In conclusion, 2020's egg hunt is going to be a royal theme by the leaks, and it is for sure happening. Players, I believe, will have a less strict reaction as the game will take critique from last year. The Egg Hunt 2020 game has not been leaked yet, but when it does, let me know if my predictions were right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like more leaks, I recommend to subscribe to my friend Mr. Soda, whose channel is mainly focused on leaks. He discusses more leak lore on his channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for the latest content on Roblox news, drama, and more. I'll also be having a Q&A special in surprise for 1,000 subscribers. 
You can go to the community tab and I'll make a community tab there and that's where you can leave your comments or questions. You can also ask personal questions, that's okay with me too. Just not my address or anything like that. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.